if you are watching this then that means arena is live and so am i over on twitch just nice guy on twitch not nice guy tarkov link in the description if you want to come by and bug me on arena that is where you will find me for the foreseeable future gonna be playing with jesse kazam valiant veritas and a few others unconfirmed at the moment but it's gonna be a good time anyway what that also means is you're gonna be wondering if you got into the test or not if you did get the edge of darkness edition of the game around 2017 and signed into the arena website like i told you guys to about a week or so ago then go check your email account for the the, you know the one that's linked to your game account that you've signed up for and that you've been playing on and see if you got it if you've never logged into the arena website or own eod i would assume that you're not in wave one check your email if you want just in case though bsg are not telling us more at the moment if they tell us when a new wave is going out or if we think a new wave went out then i will be sure to let you guys know on twitter or in the discord both linked below make sure to follow those for the minute by minute stuff anyway now if you did get in or if you're just interested on the day one stuff here's some stuff that you need to know you choose your class as you go into the match itself so it doesn't matter what your pmc looks like on the main menu don't worry about that just start matching and when you find a match you pick your loadout from there you will only have a single loadout for the entire match you cannot pick a new one but you can loot bodies to keep the gear for that round you can drop items to friends before the round starts so you can mix and match loadouts you can also find weapons like sniper rifles and medical supplies in set spawns around each map i haven't played long enough to make a detailed video about it yet but expect one in the future because they're pretty handy generally speaking just look around the spawn right as the door or the gate or whatever you know the round is about to start so a big door will slide open something like that just kind of look around the general vicinity there you'll find some meds there and then if something looks like a good sniper spot look around a little bit chances are you might find a sniper rifle leaning up against the wall or on the floor or something if you want to know what the score is or how many people are left alive in a round you will need to find the scoreboards on the map the ones with the five dots going vertically that's how many people are left alive if they're filled in with white that person's alive and then the scoreboard with the numbers is pretty obvious there's also timers around as well make sure to do what you can to end the round at the timer because if you can't get the objective done like if you can't capture the flag or if you can't kill the other players then bloodhounds spawn they're kind of like raiders they're just really powerful and then at some point so does killa spawn and that's obviously a different story i do not know if this is supposed to be heavy killa yet so if you do see Killa or Tagilla or any of the bosses spawn, be sure to send me a clip or a screenshot or something. Again, you can use either Twitter or Discord, both linked below. Gear score is important. If your number in the top left is much lower or higher than the people that you are playing with, then you're going to run into some problems because what I assume happens is you match against whoever has the highest. If you're playing solo, you will match with people approximately in your gear score range to stay balanced and competitive. At least that's what I've been told. However, you may have already realized the issue with that as you pick your loadout after you've matched with people so i don't know what's going on with that i just hope bsg have a solution for it and we'll see in real time what happens maybe you don't match with people who own kits significantly higher than yours but then it leaves you unable to level new crappy loadouts so again i don't know what's happening there we'll just have to wait and see maybe we're in some kind of testing environment or something where it doesn't matter yet in which case that's going to be tough the only thing you should be really worried about is picking a late game loadout you will like so i suggest that you spend a long time looking at the later loadouts the reason why is because you will need to grind all the previous loadouts in order to unlock the late game one that you want if you've ever played war thunder world of tanks or warships then you know exactly what you're in for here which consists of a lot of pain really as you use kits that you don't want to play with in order to someday be able to play with a kit that you do want to play with we'll talk about some of my favorite kits to get you started top spot is plantain a lot of people are leveling this as their very first unlock to vityaz it's a super solid gun it's well built you get armor and ears it's solid for that tier sawbones is more of the same except the ears are trash and the build is okay but you're shooting 5.5 a1 so it should be okay at least saboteur is next and is great solid ears solid armor good build best ammo you're shooting pvp and you have useful meds this is an all-around good loadout that most people should find success with weaver ain't too shabby either with his meta 74u there other than the optic and the bs ammunition is cherry on top but i haven't seen anybody use this yet i think it's at the point at the gear score where helmets and level five plus armor is a requirement so i don't actually think it'll be anyone's favorite same goes for cobra but you do get level five and chimera looks very solid but i don't want to talk too much about the late game stuff until we actually see some people use it you know get some time in game with them and we find out what it takes to start using base game kits in arena because in terms of the amount of time played in game with this stuff it seems like you'd probably be able to use your base game kit by now personally i think i'm going to go up the cqb chain to splint and dev grew then eventually to guardian and the the P 
PKP boy here with Ratatouille. Again, what really matters is you know what you're grinding towards. And if you find a loadout that you really are vibing with, then you can just sit there and make a buttload of XP and rubles from it. The XP earned counts on your base game PMC and the rubles can be transferred one to one to the base game. We'll just have to wait and see what that process is, what it looks like, and also how we're going to be able to use base game kits. And I think eventually unlock arena in the base game because I think it's supposed to be like a lore unlock or something. I can see them skipping that part and just make it available, at least for testing. Although maybe not because there are free kits. So you do have the ability to just make free money in arena. I genuinely don't know what they're going to do with it. And it's probably going to change at launch too. If you have any more questions, come by the stream links below or go to just nice guy on Twitch. Going to be grinding arena all day. Otherwise that's all for now. Good luck if you got in and stay tuned. If you didn't support what I do by clicking all the buttons on the screen, check out my other channels for other games right here. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a nice day. See you guys.